relationships between seeds. We will now focus on complement of a seed. You will find this on page 71 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Complement of a seed. And we indicate it by making the capital letter and a little dash. Given that the universal set E and the set A, the complement of A, represented by A dash, is a set containing all the elements in the universal set that is not in A. So, this sign, complement of a set, so if A, so I, I will say it means all the elements, so in this case, X, where X is an element of the universal set and X is not an element of A. Okay, all the elements that is not in A, read as A prime or A complement. Let's look at an example. Let the universal set be Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, Australia. And A, the set Asia, Africa, Australia. List the elements of the complement or prime A and represent this in a Venn diagram. So if I say all the elements, it's almost like I'm blocking out this elements of A. So in this case, it's Asia, it's Africa, and it's Australia. So what will be left? It will be North America, South America, Antarctica, and Europe. Okay, and if I represent it in a Venn diagram, I write all A and the ones that's not in A, it's actually the ones that's in the universal set I write outside. Okay, stop the video and do try now 8. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Um, number 8. Just get my pen. Number A. This, okay, let the universal set be Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Southern Ocean, and Arctic Ocean. And B is now this ocean. Then list the complement of B. So if I, now it's the best will be to first take my pen and scratch out all the ones of B. So it's the Atlantic Ocean, Arctic Ocean, and only that too. So what will be left? It will be the, I just want to get my blue color. It will be the Pacific Ocean, the Indian Ocean, and the Southern Ocean. Okay, and then number B, let's just take another color. Represent this in a Venn diagram. So let's just get my Venn diagram. Okay, and now again, this is going to be my universal set. And I just have one set here inside. And that's B. Oh, I'm going to going to make it a bit bigger, otherwise I will struggle with the names. So this is B. And what will be in B? It will be the Atlantic Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. And what will be outside, it's now all that ones. So it's the Pacific Ocean, the Indian Ocean, and the Southern Ocean. 
that will be how I will represent it as a Venn diagram. Okay, let's look at example 9. Let the universal set be this number, let A be this, B be this, C be this, list the elements of the complement of A, B, the complement of B, and the complement of C. Okay, it's just listing, so it's actually easy. Okay, so again, um, if I look at A, so the best will be to do it every time. I, I can even show it to you like this. So just take A and just scratch. So it's 2, 4, 6. So what will be the complement? It's going to be 8, 10, 12, 14. Okay, now I have to do it again. For B, the same. It's going to be, let's just scratch it again, 8, 10, 12. So what will be the rest? 2, 4, 6, and 14. And then the last one, um, it's C. So let's just look. Um, I'm scratching. It's 4 and 6 and 8 and 10 and 12. So the only two that's left is 2 and 14. 2 and 14. And that's the easiest way to do that. Okay. Stop the video and do try now 9. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Again, this is the universal set. This is A, this is B, and this is C. And again, I'm going to list the complements. So I'm going to, again, start here. I can take red. It's not a problem. Uh, but again, I'm going to first scratch. So it's one, two, three. So what will be left? Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And what will be B? Okay, again, I'm just going to clean again. So B, scratch, 6, 8, and 9. 6, 8, and 9. So what will be left? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 7. And then the final one, clean it again. Do it with a pencil, then it's easy to clean it again. So the final one, if I scratch C, it will be 3, 5, 6, and 7. So it will be 1, 2, 4, 8, and nine. One, two, four, eight, and nine. And that is how I do the complement of a set. And remember, I indicate it with that little dash.